Hey everybody, Jeremy here back again with the beautiful Kitchenware five speed centrifugal juicer. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean it. In fact, how easy it is to clean. So this particular juicer, in case you didn't know, is sold exclusively at Walmart. When I picked up this particular color, it was only $69. And I also made a video showing an unboxing of this juicer, how it works, how all the parts come together. And then I juiced a variety of fruits and vegetables. So if you wanna see that video, go ahead and click the card above my head or if you can't see it there check the link in the description or the pinned comment I'll leave a link to that video there as well but right now I'm going to show you how to clean this thing I know it can seem maybe a little bit overwhelming when you see how all the pulp splatters all across the machine but trust me it is not difficult to do the key is doing it quickly so I just juiced some apples and some carrots nothing too crazy and now I'm going to clean it. So come over to the sink and I'll show you how it's done. The key to making this easy is expediency. As soon as you're finished juicing, before you even finish drinking your juice, make sure that you clean this thing because the longer you wait, the more time that pulp has to harden and that's gonna make the machine so much harder to clean. So let me show you the first thing. This is a pro tip. So you see right here, this is the pulp basket and I have it lined with a plastic bag. So when you go to the store and you buy something and you get a plastic bag, don't just throw those out if that's what you're doing. Save it so that you can line this basket with. So I'm gonna take this top part off first so I can show you how all of the pulp collects inside of this here basket. So now all I have to do is just lift this up and I can throw this in the garbage. And then this basket right here, I don't have to clean at all. It's completely clean. Nothing went inside of it. Everything went inside of this plastic bag. So I'm just gonna take this, tie it up, toss it right in the trash. Now, here's the first part. This is the biggest part of the juicer to clean, but just because it's big doesn't mean that it's going to be the most difficult part to clean. So you see, we got all that pulp right there. What I like to do first is just take my hand. This is the plunger, by the way. I like to take my hand and I'm just gonna get out the huge mass of pulp that's just gonna gather. So just swoop, swoop your hand around there real quick and just grab a chunk of this and just throw it in the garbage. Now, you won't have to do that <laughs> anymore. At this point, I'm just gonna turn on the water. I like this setting right here with the streams of water, and just rinse it. That's all we're gonna do. Make sure that you rinse the top. You see like down here are these little tiny grooves. Pulp is going to get in there too, but if you rinse it out quickly enough and don't let it harden, it'll just fall and slide right out. So I'm, I didn't use a brush, a rag, a towel, whatever you got. I didn't do anything. You see this, this is clean. I didn't even have to scrub it. All the pulp is gone. Chances are it's probably gonna be like a little tiny dot and someone's gonna say, oh, you missed a spot. But you, you can see how it looked before and how it looks now. So this is the biggest part of the machine. And now we're done. Next, we got this plunger. This never really gets too dirty because it doesn't really have a lot of crevices where the pulp can get into besides this groove right here that you line up with the machine in order to push your food down. But this also just needs a little rinse and is good as new. No worries with that. All right, so let's put this away. Next thing that we got is the pitcher that catches the actual juice. So same thing that we did with the other one. Take the lid off, turn on the water, rinse it. I haven't used any cleaning products so far. 
And if you want to, you want to add some soap and some water or whatever, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But just by doing a simple rinse, there's nothing on here. And while I was doing that, the water pretty much cleaned the top for me as well. So now, that's the next part done. This is clean, and this is clean. All right, what else we got? Next up is going to be the metal basket. Now this metal basket, we are going to wait until last. This metal basket is the hardest thing to clean, but it's not hard to clean. So we're going to get back to this. But before I do, I just like to put a little bit of water in there just to get it started. I'm just going to put that to the side. The next part is this base where you put the metal basket into. In this, you see there's some pulp around that edge. Not a problem. You just rinse it. Rinse it and it comes right off. You make sure that you get some water down in there so that it can go through this spout. And you might be able to see some water shooting through the spout to clean that out. That water runs clear. You'll know that you are good to go. Give that a shake. Let me look around here. You see any like residuals or whatever? You can get in there. I got a scrub daddy right here. So if you just want to be sure, get into some areas that you can't quite see, you can just take whatever you got and just bring it around there. And that's it. That's all we have to do. Shake this out, put it in your drying rack or whatever you use to dry your stuff. Give it a good once over. This is good. It's good to go. All right, put that away. Last but not least, you don't have to clean this most of the time. This is the main base. Now, this is something that you don't want to submerge in water. This is where all the electronics and stuff are. But as you can see, the top portion here is bone dry. There is nothing right there. I never get any juice splatter or pulp on this top part. It's always caught by the piece that goes over it. So I don't worry about that at all. And I can just put that away. Now, the hardest part, even though it's not that hard at all, is this mesh basket. That's where this brush comes in. It comes with the unit and you want to keep this. It's gonna make this whole process so much easier. So, what I do, try not to get your hand in there because that's where the blade is. Grab it by this part, the rotational parts, so and get a good grip, and then, just use this brush and brush. I typically do like to start on the outside though. Wait, hold on, let me just, I want you to be able to see, can you see exactly the stuff that's in there? You can see the color is mostly orange and along the back. I hope you can see that. But anyway, I'm just running it under the water just giving it a brush. You can kind of see the little specks that the pulp leaves behind and that'll kind of let you know that there's still something there that you're going to need to clean up but just go all the way around it continuously rinsing and scrubbing and I like to take the brush and get it on this black piece as well and then when I'm done with that I work my way around the inside and also work the brush in the little uh, blade parts down there as well. Make sure you get all of that. Continue the rinse. I'm looking at it right now. You can see right through it because it's mesh. This is done. This Right now, this is just kind of overkill. I'm just kind of making sure that everything is nice and clean for y'all give it one more once over on the back side bada bing bada boom give that a shake bring it up to you 
so you can see it a little bit better. So that's that basket. Nice and clean all the way around. Almost a mirror finish. So those are all of the pieces that you need to wash in the Beautiful Kitchen 5-Speed Juice Extractor. It's a centrifugal juicer, so it's going to shoot all of that pulp all across the machine. But if you get to it quickly enough, you'll be able to clean it in no time. And before I go, just wanna also let you know that another thing that you have to somewhat be concerned about, not, you don't have to be concerned, but just be aware. Um, once you finish juicing the spout right here, uh, just make sure you put like a little paper towel or something under it, even after you finish like pouring your juice, because this spout, it is going to continue to drip a little bit. So you're going to have just some tiny, tiny little spots where that spout is, is going to drip tiny little bit of juice. Just get a paper towel, wipe it real fast and you're done. And I'm done. That's how easy it is to clean this thing. And it's going to be even shorter for you because you won't have to do it in front of a camera. But I hope that this video was helpful to you. And uh, if you got any more questions about this juicer, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as I can. So that's all for now, you guys. If you want to see more food related content just like this, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.